all these ones work. Making been going lately. The next part to the test exam. Too close, you're back. Been doing great. I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I'm sure this exam will also be a walk in the park for you. Well, ready to begin? Yeah, get to the same requirements. Alright, this time around, get the primary out. And talk to the potion with efficacies, strength, and dexterity. Both reaching grades, both reaching grade intermediate or higher. Potion grade intermediate potion level reaches plus eight. Potion displays at least two characters. More than 10 ingredients. Alright. That works. <laughs> um, did it. Let me see. Yep, looks like your potion meets the requirements. You've passed once again. for your trouble. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What they say is true. You have to um, see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. Green Master's ultimate. Provide us with additional thought. Here you go. Right. Um, an exhilarating penetration turned underway in Ultras of Meropede. And it said there's someone searching by a way to boost their physical abilities to abilities strength. Um, academia students busy composing the final significant stress. A more current is to calm their spirits. Focus on. Um, wait. Green. Charity. <clears throat> Charity. Um. In this, in my capacity as the guardian of our village and on behalf of the other gods and all who travel the desert, allow me to express my sincerest thanks. One of those strange happenings but here in the desert, towards our village, pressing distance travelers. It was our great fortune that we were critical in helping the travelers avoid danger in each our village. So the gods drained them as well, making them even more valiant for driving back the mob. Soon, we shall lead them in an offensive and kill our villagers' ability. Have time, please come to our, into our village for a spell. We shall prepare our finest drinks for you. Oh, thanks, Candice. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Village. Nice to see you here. Oh, Diluc, what 
What's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? <laughs> yeah, it's really been a while. Uh, really been Elzer a while. told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. At the trade war begin. They're coming for your business. Trade war oh, begin. Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe to toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm. A competition with the traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable. And, well-traveled, if we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense! It's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. I never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more of making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Well, if you want something, just name it. And... Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered. Please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. So, here. Use the attack of Latsing and Focus. Latsing and Focus. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D. Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted 
that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. <laughs> oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. I uh, did Pylon get that right? Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. It's only put Master the Luke. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. Oh, uh, that being said, I already have I mean, a potion dedicated to that specific deep. So, let me just run on that. Hey, Luch. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? And over the potion. Endurance and wisdom and action. Oh, the liver potion. I thought you might need more time, but it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. Oh well, push them over. Wow, the effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and. Don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself? Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. Well, just secured a huge order from Dawn Winery. It's like our new products are hit. If our potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke, I'm sure regular customers are going to be even more amazed. Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in. 
for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke! Yeah, the Luch. <laughs> I've seen you. Um, oh, those are exhausted monsters. Melt those racked. Relax. If you're not sure Potions what to do next, how about I take you on a walk? 